So the real question is this, do you have the publishing rights to publish on Amazon KDP from Canva? I am not an attorney, but I'm going to share my feedback. And it sounds like I need to invite my favorite attorney onto the YouTube channel, maybe for a podcast episode interview, so we can talk about this because there's been some updates in Canva with the company about publishing on KDP. So a couple days ago, Ed from Canva said that the last post, which we all had a YouTube about, a YouTube video about, that there was information that wasn't accurate. So they removed the post. If you're following this journey, I'll put in the comments in the description of the video previously stated videos that I've shared. So Canva said, give us a couple days. We're going to create something new for you guys. So we hung out and we waited, right? And we talked about it on the internet everywhere. And then uh, they came out with it. They're, this is an Australian company. So their time, you know, obviously was in the, in the middle of the night for me. And they created a help guide. And they are also producing a design school video. So they're wanting to support. Okay, but let's dive into what the help guide said. The one that they created in 48 hours. The simple version is that if you want to create a product, like a t-shirt, an ebook, a template, it needs to be original. This means that you can use design elements to do it, a mixture of graphic and, and fonts, but you can't just take something out of their library. So we know that Canva Pro has its place, right? But what does it mean for KDP? Because it gets a little bit more detailed in the second section here. Okay, so we know you cannot sell any Canva content as a standalone basis. I think we all really knew this, right? And original work is what I'm, I'm selling a unique design that I've put creative effort into, okay? So that's what they want you to really focus on, that you need to create original content. And you can use their stuff to do so but you can't use their stuff to do so across the board. Let's talk about KDP. Frequently asked questions. Do I own the copyright in designs I create on Canva? If you are the creator of an original design, you all, you're also its copyright holder. But if you use third party content, which is almost you guys, almost all of Canvas pro almost all of it in your design, your ownership is subject to those third party rights. Now, third party rights, Canva has a relationship. Think of it like this. Canva is the middle person. So this isn't the end all for us because we know the origin of the third party. Usually it's updated, whether you're getting photos from Getty image or pixel by or unsplash. There's also a group I'll share, share at the end of this video that a group there's where you can find the artist of Canva pro elements. Let's say you have a best-selling book and you love it. There's a way let's just think about Canva as the middleman because that makes this video less discouraging. Okay. So you are subject to those party rights. Now I have looked up some of the, some of the content that I've used in my pro account for books. And I went to the third party site and it's about $500 to buy copyright commercial rights from them. Okay. So everybody's different, but that was the biggest, one of the biggest uh, stock images companies in the world. So I think you can find this for a lot cheaper. 
Okay, so let's just dig into why this affects KDP. Okay, the print-on-demand services I'm using, okay, some third-party print services may require you to agree that you own copyright in any design that you upload. In this case, you cannot use Canva content in those designs because you do not own the copyright in that content. You only have a license to it. Okay, so here's the exciting part. I'm trying to make this exciting so it's not discouraging. We're getting the license from Canva when we can be getting the publishing rights from the original person. Okay. If the print service only requires you to agree that you have the rights to use your design that contains Canva context, then the print service is okay to use. Okay. That is not the case for us right? Because Amazon KDP asks us, I own the copyright and I hold the necessary publishing rights. Publishing rights, choose this option if your book is under copyright, which when you're cop when you create something original, you are. But if you're using pro elements, you cannot claim full copyright because you are subject to third party terms. Okay. But it's okay. Third party terms. We're going to find those people. Let me show you at the end of this video. And also an attorney can help you navigate this too and create agreements, which at the end of the day protects your account in a lot of ways. Okay. Let me go back to one spot about copyright in Canva's notes. What rules apply if I want to sell an image I've created using text to image? This is Canva's AI. Please note, this is the second paragraph. Well, first of all, images generated with text to image are not covered by Canvas content license agreement. Okay. You have to apply, you have to comply with their AI product terms. Now, mid journey, when you pay $10 a month for the commercial, you have permission to sell it, right? And you definitely want to go read mid journeys agreement for that. But please note, in many countries, the legal ownership of AI-generated works is unclear. This means you may not be the copyright owner of the images you make. We recommend seeking legal advice if you plan to sell AI-generated work. Um, they should have put that last sentence very first because there's a lot of different cases going on about copywriting AI work. And I just started following a girl on Twitter that submitted her application and it got rejected and it's been like viral news since then. Okay. So let's talk about how to protect your book with AI. Cause I have some notes here from the attorney that I've worked with, which if you guys want him to come on, please let me know in the comments, attorney interview, like, let me actually don't write that, write the questions you have. Cause that will help guide our interview so you get the most out of it. Okay. So let's talk about now that we have this information, let's fill our feelings. Let's be upset. Let's be angry. Let's be sad. Let's be excited. Sit in those feelings. And then let's look at book creation best practices. Really, it comes down to creating original content. Like that's the best way to protect yourself. And ironically, it's the best way to build out a brand on KDP. Keep a document of your prompts for artificially intelligence prompted artwork. You'll want to keep a document so you can have a proper submission for any copyright application that you might do. Additionally, copyright your work to gain publishing rights. Formal, right? Like protect your book. And then if anything happens within KDP, you can supply that information. Update your best-selling books with original content. That is a huge win that we have publishing on Kindle Direct Publishing is that we can update our covers and we can up update our interior. So we can, we can start working on that to stay up to date 
with Canva terms, KDP terms, and our own protection. If we can't do that, I have done this after my account was suspended and I had books from Creative Fabrica. It made me uncomfortable. I just unpublished books. Reach out to third parties for an agreement. This is the cool part I want to show you because no one's talking about this. And this is taking out the middleman. This is taking out Canva. I want you to know that you can still use Canva as a designer. You're just uploading your own original content to it. Okay. So the pro account might still work for you. Contracts with contractors, contractors for commercial release. You need to think about this, whether you're on Fiverr or other places. So you're just protected and <clears throat> pardon me, could you prompt AI to create original content from your existing books? So if you have books that are doing really well, maybe there's a way to take all your metadata keywords and your description and share it to be prompted to create covers. You might actually like what it comes out with more. Okay. But let's go up to contractors. Okay. We know that Canva is the middleman, but Canva design community has over 200,000 people in it. And do you know who's in there? The people who contribute to Canva. This person, I would love to support Ukraine directly right? Instead of always, so you'd reach out to this artist and ask them about being hired for a project with customized elements. Like if you have things on Canva that you love, there is a person behind that. You can reach out to them and support them. And I think this is so cool. I don't use a lot of graphics. A lot of the things that I have in my book, I made myself, especially like workbooks. I've made those with like lines and stuff like that. I'm not using too much pro. I need to go through and check because I'll need to take those out. But this like think of Canva just as the middleman and there's a whole world of beautiful artists that can benefit. Now Canva was nice because they were the middleman and they were like, pay us 10 bucks and use all this stuff, but you can't make money on it. So there is an investment in running a business. And this just helps us be more business minded. Okay. So as I mentioned before, like, and subscribe this video. So you don't miss the interview with our, the attorney who also has a YouTube channel. Um, write your questions in the comments about the questions you have for him, because they're going to be able to guide you and protect you on what you need to do moving forward. Appreciate you guys. Love you. See you in the next video.